that I disagreed with. Okay. No, and this is no, I, you know, I, you know, I would love to start beef because I want this to go to 60 million. <laughs> I want to call somebody out. I just want to start, but I won't do but that. When I'm, Country Wayne was on here, yeah. I, first of all, I don't know Country Wayne at all. Right. But I watched his video. I, I give him his credit for him making all that money. I was listening to him like, oh, what? How did you do this? Right. You know, I love his hustle. Smart dude. I mean, he making millions off of it. Wish I, I could, but he said one statement that I disagreed with, country. I disagreed with you. What was the statement? I, I think he said, and if I'm wrong, you correct me. Okay. Said something about if anybody's in a comedy club still, that means you're not doing anything. Something like that mm -hmm. to that. I don't know if he okay. was answering Faison. Right. I think it was him and Faison right. going at it. Okay. Because Faison's my dude. Right. Faison. <laughs> Faison go, everybody be going at Faison. I love Faison goes to clubs. Right. You're not a real comedian. I right. think he said that. Am okay. I wrong? Something to that effect. And I go, but I think he was talking about him. Because okay, like, please, because I was like, you are wrong right. about that. Right. I'm in the comedy clubs. DL's in the com comedy clubs are still being built. And there not, still comes to the comedy club. But I think what he was, what Wayne I, I'm, was, I'm just saying, yeah. I might be, I might be in no, misinterpreting. I think what he was saying yeah. is that that's his only choice is to do those. The people that you mentioned can do arenas. They can do theaters. Yeah. He's saying that. He probably, the only thing he can do. Okay. Is, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, so what does that make me? Cause no, it's no, no, not no, easy. No, no. First Somebody of all, it's not easy. Hey, this is a message for, uh, shout out to Shannon Sharp for representing me on his, uh, club Shay Shay when Godfrey tried to come and say whatever, whatever with Godfrey and all the other comedians who've been hating on me a long time. Let me tell y'all something. Every comedian to me funny. Now, if you want some advice on probably why you never gained that audience, because, bro, you, the audience you speaking to just ain't the proper audience. I don't know what you talking to. I might not be funny to you, because I was, I was speaking to the streets of where I come from, all the hustlers. Not the jack boys, but the hustlers. And the bad, and, and to the bad ones. I always kept the bad women, and the people who get that money, the people who work hard. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, hustling ain't just selling drugs and all that. I'm talking about people who work hard, take care of their family, black people, play spades. Uh, Give you some advice. You out there talking about them jokes about whatever you talking about, bro. If you been in this game that long, and that audience ain't came to you yet, switch it up. Switch it up, my boy. It's subject matter, and your subject just don't matter. So all these comedians out here that got country Wayne name in their mouth, bro, don't be mad because your girl. I mean your girl mouth. What you mad about? Because all the aunties and all the, the, the black women, we love country Wayne and all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really. About their family, a hey, country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Your haircut on that interview, if you seen it, that's why they don't rock with you. That's why, ain't no, you, I'm riding through Chicago right now, cause I got a show at a theater that I'm gonna make a 100K plus in the real Chicago streets gonna be in there. Ain't nobody in Chicago got that haircut and talking like that and leaning like that when they talking. So all the comedians who got my name in your mind, y'all was the lame dudes in high school who the girls ain't like. And this is why y'all can't get it. Because you still mad about the girl who dealt with old boy. You in the comedy club, you ain't get you ain't no real comedian. I didn't say that. It was a comedian coming out, coming for me, who and I said he can't, he he forced to go to a comedy club. I go to comedy club still. The comedy clubs is what we came from. If one for the comedy clubs, I wanna be where I where I'm at. I still go there to work on material. I'm gonna continue to go back. Shout out to Shannon Sharp for stopping that because he was trying to say something that I didn't say on there, bro. Listen here, man. Only thing you gotta do is call me for advice. Wayne, how you doing? What you doing? I got the people, bro. The coach ain't a lot of them keep my name out your mind, my boy, for real though. Like I ain't I ain't one of no comedians. Everybody who really know me now, this the real Wayne. This the Wayne Coley. Bump all that country Wayne stuff, man. I don't play like that. that man, congratulations to you, but if you want some advice, you got my number. Don't be going on to a talker, man. Think gonna get so cloud off me because Water. let's get let get a special out. You to my soul, Netflix, it's give you the money. Boy, you don't know. I put up my own paper. You know what I'm saying? You begging for money. If your grandma what? what? Keep my name out your mind, man. All y'all for real. My guy Godfrey, listen, brother. I saw your interview. It was great. Love your energy. You've always been a good nigga. This country wing mother. This hillbilly ain't never been outside his territory, wherever he from. The Appalachians, of wherever the fucking hills, where they their own families. I don't know where the fuck from. But if I see the nigga on stage, I'm snatching this nigga off. That's on Emerald. I don't have Jersey. Wayne did not watch the video at all. Oh, he didn't watch the video. Wow.
Faison had your back. Oh, really? I love Faison. Faison, great. Faison Love is the one that dogged him. And he got dogged by other people. I never dogged Country Wayne. I don't know him. And then he wants to make a video telling me to keep my name out of his mouth. Why don't you say that about Faison? I listen to your podcast. comedy hate has to stop. The comedy hate, hey, I even sent an olive tree out to, um, to, to, to I keep calling him Little Wayne, <laughs> to, to Country Wayne. I, I sent out, uh, 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 I sent out um, an olive branch to him because I want to talk to him. My, my, my agent knows Country Wayne. And I even said, hey, Country Wayne, hey, man, I'm willing to talk. Let's talk man to man. Let's talk man to man because you really misinterpreted what I said. You know, you really misinterpreted what I said. It's just like T.I. misinterpreted what I said. But me and T.I. are good to go. But Country Wayne, uh, no, like how did you get the hate from what I said? And he said, this is what I heard, what he did. I said, Country Wayne, I love his hustle, but I disagree on him when he talked about comedians being in comedy clubs because he does theaters and stuff because he has big numbers. But I said, I disagree with what you said about being in a comedy club. That's what I said. And then I said, but I love his hustle. And then later on, later on in the interview, um, I said, it's unfair that Netflix is giving specials to people who are not ready. I wasn't talking about uh, Country Wayne. What I was saying was, country, first of all, Country Wayne, Country Wayne bought, paid for his own special which is dope as fuck. He didn't wait on Netflix. He didn't wait on Showtime. He didn't wait on, on uh, 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 Amazon. He paid for his own special. I'm not even talking about him. I'm talking about the specials that Netflix pays for and puts these people on that are not even ready to do an hour. That is what I said. That's what I meant, because he paid for his That's own why special. I am raising money to do my own special and pay for it so I can license it out. That's why I have a GoFundMe. That's why I want you guys to, um, I want you guys. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and I said it before, and I said it again. If you ain't already know, 2024 is most definitely a piece of the comedy world has become the comedian beef lane. After Cat Williams did the interview, kicked it off, set the whole internet on fire, got it all off his chest, held no punches back, called niggas out by name and direct. We seen a different little effect with people coming online and every week or so, sometimes every other few days, we just see two comedians get in it. And it's no different right here when it comes to this new interview that just dropped on Shannon Sharp podcast with comedian Godfrey, where he spoke on something that Country Wayne had said recently, where he was talking directly to Phase of Love. But he brought that up, as y'all see right there. And I had a link in the description where you can watch that in full at and the link for Godfrey YouTube channel where he responded to Country Wayne turning up on him after bringing his name up. So what I want people to do right now, if you listening to understand and not respond, listen carefully, dog. I'm not here to argue with the people who y'all think is funnier, who do y'all like more. That's a different conversation than us getting to the understanding of why we are where they at right now. The reason why Country Wayne turned up is because him and Faison Love been having issues and problems. Phase on Love was in an interview and he spoke on them not getting residuals in this new generation. He spoke about him getting residuals for movies he went in and looked, he pretty much was like, y'all ain't doing nothing in the game. Y'all guys that are going directly to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and things like that. I'm really getting money from movies I've been in back in the day, and y'all ain't really doing too much of nothing that I can glance at or things that I can really respect. He was very arrogant about it. It just is what it is. Country Wayne was one of the people that was spoke on and everything in that interview. Well, that already kicked that tension off. So when Country Wayne went onto the podcast with Shannon Sharp earlier this year, it was addressed. He said directly to uh, Faison Love, 
this, this, and that. Hey, you only doing comedy clubs and things like that. We doing arenas. We doing specials. We on YouTube. We on Facebook. We tapping in with the people. What you got going on? So when Godfrey went on there and brought that up, and mind you, Shannon Sharp did not ask him about that. He brought it up. And it was already said and understood. That's why Shannon Sharp said, well, nah, he wasn't making fun of people going to the comedy club. And that's why Country Wayne said, nigga, I still go to the country club. So he taking it like, hold on, bro. You brought my name up out of nowhere. And as y'all heard, Godfrey said, I know somebody that know him behind the scenes. So Country Wayne is a nigga. I think like a nigga too. I'm just keeping it a thousand. I'm not saying that Country Wayne needed to turn up and go crazy or nothing like that. That's his choice. But he thinking like, hold on, bro. You brought my name up in the interview. You wasn't asked about me. Then you spoke incorrectly on me and kind of insinuated that I possibly said something that I didn't say or mean. And then right after that conversation, right after that, in that same interview, the same clip, not even the two minutes later, He's talking about Netflix specials. He's talking about comedians not being ready. And he's talking about the art of comedy. All of that is the same insinuation that kind of falls in line to what Faison Love was already saying. So Country Wayne is looking like, hold on, you didn't call me. You didn't bring my name up. Uh, you rock with Phase on Love already. So nigga, I'm really going to look at it as some underhand hating. Because if you had a problem with it, why wait to the interview to bring my name up when you could have got in contact with me? So even Godfrey said himself, hey, I, I know some people behind the scenes. So I'm like, well, there go your problem right there, Godfrey. You went to the internet and you did hit them directly. I'm not choosing the side. I'm just telling y'all I understand why I got to this point. People are going at Country Wayne or they going at this guy. I like to get the understanding of how it got here, the lack of communication behind the scenes where somebody could have reached out. It all start off with one person saying the nigga name publicly in a way that they don't like, and they got the right to respond. And nine times out of 10, 2024, the energy is there for them to respond. I'm entertained by it, though. We all be looking into it. We all follow the comedians. I'm a nigga that grew up on comedy, nigga, my entire life since a baby. I grew up on a lot of the OGs. I like the new acts as well. But it does have to have a conversation where the game has changed. Now, if you want to have the art, I'm not trying to throw away the art of comedy. That ain't what I'm on of, hey, bro, let's forget what comedy really is. Those conversations need to be had because you don't want to ever lose the essence of being able to do a set. But if somebody else is born in this era, and, and Godfrey did say that, you know, it ain't their fault that they was born in a different era, but you got to watch how you say it at times and how you mix it in with other conversations, bro. So it ain't no beef. Godfrey even said, well, why he ain't going phase on? He been winning phase on. Been winning phase on already. So that's why I'm saying this is why Godfrey, he jumped out there on Godfrey for the people that don't understand why most of y'all don't care. Y'all just choose sides and things without watching full videos. Everybody attention spans short. And that's why I try to put everything there so y'all can see for yourselves. And y'all got to go watch the full clips if you country way while you sitting back thinking that dog got a problem with you it just is what it is i rock with all lanes of comedy if it's funny it's funny if you make me laugh you make me laugh if it's solid it's it's, it's got you know just hey get, get a laugh out of a nigga i know that everybody can't go get booked for a hollywood scene i know everybody can't go get in a movie i know everybody ain't really a traditional stand-up comedians but hey I'm not a straight, uh, traditional nigga speaking on sports. I'm not a traditional journalist. I'm not even a blogger. I don't call myself none of that. I'm just a nigga that's doing what I've been doing my whole life, speaking on topics on the internet. We just recording it now. I've been doing rap combos and things since I was six, seven years old. So it's like, hey, any nigga come tell me, hey, you're not a real journalist, you're not a real blogger, I don't really care. But if you start talking about, hey, how a nigga making his money and da da da, da when I'm keeping it solid, and keeping respectful while doing it, then I'm going to be like, okay, nah, nigga, you, you, you coming at me foul because I ain't out here pushing damage and destruction. I am talking about the nonsense, the chaos, the conflict, the confrontations, but I always say when it comes to comedy, ain't nobody dying, ain't nobody going to jail, ain't nobody getting beat up, ain't nobody getting robbed. It's all entertainment. They'll be able to work it out just right now. Niggas, hey, let me get it off my chest on how I feel. Phase of Love said what he said as well. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.